Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today I'm coming on to do my design team project for Doreen over at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And the kits that I use today is her Winter's Memory and Vintage Winter Memories. So I will make sure to leave all of Doreen's links in the description box below. Um, so you guys go over there and check her out. So right here I just have a couple of pages, a page or two of a ephemera and things like that um, I do not have the whole kit um, printed out to show you because it is a huge kit and I did not do a journal this time I'm not really sure what you call what I did but anyway I think it's really cute so this is a page from the kit and I absolutely love these skates here they are just so pretty and then this right here I, now these I thought would be super cute um, to have for like gift tags wouldn't those be cute to put on a gift gorgeous and then this right here is just a piece of um, the ephemera and I did not cut these out because I'm actually thinking about doing some flip outs and I wanted to have this white space here to use um, for that flip out so we have that one now these two right here guys I actually um, I wanted to make some ornaments and the templates that I had were like really really big um, so I actually went and looked on my Christmas tree and found two uh, homemade Christmas ornaments that little Zerion our grandson had made and I just brought them in here and traced them and then um, printed it on two of her pages so these are going to be super pretty here yep those would be cute little ornaments to do so we'll set those over there. So this right here is um, my design team project right here. So we'll go ahead and get into this. So I do have a, um, a little hat pin here that I had made. And it is pink and has a pink butterfly at the top because I love butterflies. So I just picked that one out of my stash and put her there. Um, and it is tied with some uh, like... I believe it was tea dyed sorry silk um and then right here i just have a little cluster here and it has a little jingle bell on it a key this right here is actually a piece of antique fabric that has crocheted lace on the edge and then we have some um sheer lace there and then this right here says precious memories and it is part of her kit so I'll just put that there on the dangle. And this right here is some coffee dyed parchment paper. And then a piece of a pink piece of a vintage wedding dress. So this opens up like that. We're going to move that out of the way. Um, so this right here is actually just a shaker card. So I made it with one of the journaling cards or postcards from the kit. Um, put this sheer... Um, tool stuff that likes gl glitters can you see the glitter yeah you guys can see it that glitters to make my shaker with again first shaker i ever made um and then i put a vintage wedding applique up here it is so pretty and a little pink bow there from my stash and then one of the bows from her kit so that is the shaker that i made that just sits on the front this is another page from the kit absolutely love this some pink beaded trim or pearl trim up here another vintage applique from a wedding dress a little flower with some uh, bling in the middle and then a bling flower there i thought those were super cute all right so this right here actually flips open and when you flip it open on the inside i have a beautiful lace pocket here and another journaling card from the kit with a piece of lace at the top and then some bling on there so really pretty i apologize my camera i have nudged it again so it's not focusing very well and then over here i took some of this beautiful trim that like has the tassel -y stuff fringe hanging down i absolutely love it made it into a pocket and again took another one of the uh journaling cards or postcards from the kit and just put some vintage applique up here from a wedding dress and two pretty pink flowers there so we have that i don't think my lighting is very good today either guys 
it is like, you know, I think the rain has stopped, but it's still really cloudy, gloomy, and wet out there. It's been raining for like two days. It is Thursday when I'm filming, so, yeah. So we'll go ahead and tie this up, and then we can slide our little shaker card in there. Slide it right there. So that is how that looks. And we will go ahead and put, moving my little flowers around again. Go ahead and put our little hat pin back in here. Hopefully, there we go. Here we go. So we got that on there. Alright, and then if you turn it this way, right here we have a little pocket here. And I just took this. It looks like a dolly and some other yummies. And it looks like a little heart um, cookie in the middle. I just put a little piece of lace on the top. And then... Just tucked in these two journaling cards or postcards with some beautiful lace at the top. Uh, and then we have some lace back here. So that just slides into this pocket here. And then this one there. Kind of line those up about even. And then this one just goes in the front of those two. There we go. And then back here in the very back is another big pocket. Let's see if we can get her out. And again, I just took a page from the kit. I think I need to glue that down. Just get I just got a page from the kit and cut it down to size. That is so pretty. And then just lined it with some lace down there. So that is a huge journaling card there. So that just goes in the very back pocket there. And it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. Okay, guys. And then this actually flips open. So this is the back. So I just put some lace here. And then that flips open. And over here we just have a flippy pad made from that parchment paper that I coffee dyed some coffee dyed paper and avocado paper and then this right here was the other ornament that I had made um, that I told you guys was a little big for what I wanted it for um, so I just glued it front and back to one of her digitals in the kit um, put a little element there those cute little uh, skates and then just went around it with a um, gold metallic pin and then just put that up there with a you'll see that guys my grand dog got me she got me there too uh, she's got my hands looking hideous she's got some sharp nails um, but yeah just put a little key there um, so this I decided just to because I was like okay what do I do with that hanging key so I just decided to place that there and then the key can just drape over here and just hang down on the front there we go I don't think I actually got that in any of the any of the sorry silk it's just right down the middle so that, guys, is my design team project for Doreen over at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And again, it is the Winter Memories Kit as well as the Vintage Winter Memories Kit. So you guys go over there and check her out. All right, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so. Also, hit that like button and leave me a super quick comment. All right, I love you guys. Thank you all so, so. Oh, you know what? Let me show you something else. Sorry. So this right here is all the elements. So it shows you how much you get. Um, because I am actually going to make another one of these. I have the beginnings of it here. Super excited. So I might do that in the next video. But I have it started. And this one is a little bit different. Because it doesn't open up on the back. 
Um, but yeah, I have all these done. And guys, where I cut out my ornaments, I actually took the scrap pieces of paper that still had um, a design on it. And I actually cut out some well tail tabs. Aren't they just beautiful? So we will have those to play with. And I cut out a bunch of circles, the little bitty circles right here that way if we want those to help us with the closure we'll have those but in here i have the um bows the presents look at how cute is that i'm thinking about actually stacking these and making a christmas tree as well as the bows here um stacking them and from smallest to largest and making a christmas tree with those um, and look at all of this. So this is some more ephemera. Lots and lots of ephemera. Her kits are so huge. Lots and lots of goodies to play with. And I like these right here that she did. That's like the half. Because guys you could actually take and put it on the corner of a page here. Sew it right here and then it's a little tuck. Isn't that awesome? Just tuck it in there. So I love the things that she put in these kits here um so we have that and again that's where i wrote down what it is guys you you know i have the memory of a carrot and then this right here guys is actually some more of the ornaments let me show you these really quickly so these are the some of the ones that i made a template for and cut out and again i had just printed that on her one of her pages so these are some of the bigger, and these, I am not done with these. I'm still going to, oops, need to bling them up. Plus, this is too long, so I need to cut that down. Um, but this is just the shape of an ornament. Put a little thingy up there. Tied some twine through it, another key. And that is one of the, looks like a cookie frosted Christmas tree, doesn't it? So gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so I am going to be blinging these up some more, but there is one, and then here is another, the little cookie there, I don't even think I'm in camera, beautiful kit she has, oh look at how cute, got us a cookie, and then of course I had to do the skates, because I absolutely love that little key on that one and then this one instead of doing the string i just did a key in a bull pin um this was something from my stash a snowflake oh and then on the back this i did with the um template that i printed out but i made it into a shaker i just put that um glittery tool stuff here um on there and put a vintage button up here and now we have another shaker. So this is like the second shaker I've ever made. I actually made those two at the same time. So that is those guys. So that is what I have been playing around with for my uh, design team project for Doreen. So much fun. This is such a beautiful kit. Alright, so now I think that's it guys. So sorry about that. I will show you. What will I show you? Right here, I have started um, with those little things I told you would be cute for a tag on a present. I have the beginnings of some shaker cards. So I just have my tool. It's got to be cut down to size. And I just zigzagged it on three sides so that here we can fill it with our sequence. And then I will take it back to the sewing machine and close up the top. That way we have our shaker and then just trim up around it. One... Uh, two three four five so i have enough look at the little gingerbreads oh how cute so yeah so i actually have those ready to make five more so super excited about that all right guys thank you all so much i love you all and we'll see you next time Bye bye